Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is video number two of I'm not sure how many introducing streamer bot. Now, if you haven't seen the first video, we introduced it how to download, get it installed, and how to connect it to Twitch and OBS. If you haven't seen that video already, I'll leave a card up here and you can drop back and have a watch on that. So this is video number two. We're going to be working on commands and stuff that you can type into chat on Twitch and OBS to make it pop up in your stream. For example, exclamation, hello world. <laughs> Yeah. So this is me in my stream, and then I've got some for the sponsor of today's video, VBI Graphics. So I can put exclamation VBI, and as you can see, it plays a little pop up for VBI Graphics and stuff like that. So, so today we're going to be having a look at putting in commands. But in order to for the commands to work, first of all, you need the action installed. Each each action needs a stack of instructions, like we've got here on this side of the screen here. These are memes. This is what I've been working on. So as you can see, each meme has a visible, invisible, and a delay in between while the meme plays. So that's what we're going to set up. So we need to be in the actions tab to get started. We're just going to right click anywhere and we're going to add an action. So first of all, we're going to do a meme. So group it into the meme folder and we're going to name it lazy because I've got a lazy town meme here. So we're going to call it lazy town. And then we're just going to press OK on that. So as you can see here, we've got the lazy town in the actions. Make sure it's highlighted. Right click in the right box. Add action. OBS. Source visibility state. Set source visibility state. Here's where you find whatever you've got installed inside OBS. Now you obviously need the meme installed inside OBS. If you haven't done that, I've made a video for that too. I'll leave another card up there. Basically, there's going to be cards everywhere to catch up to where we're at. So if you haven't installed memes to OBS before, this video there showing you how to do it. But I've already got mine installed in nested scenes. Again, if you don't know how to use nested scenes, there's a video for that on my channel as well. So down here in my scenes, I want memes because I've got all my memes inside a memes folder, uh, inside a memes nested scene. So we're here in memes and pop-ups. And then we want the source to be the meme that I'm installed. So kids watch, that's the laser sound one. And the state here, we've got visible. Okay, so we just put that in. We pop a delay in. So again, one, now that's in. So we've got the lazy sound. Action number one, show the scene, show the source, sorry. Add action, delay. These are in milliseconds. So times everything by a thousand. Uh, a thousand. So if 10 seconds, you want 10,000. Press OK. And then again, we want another copy of this. So you can go right click, add action, OBS and all that but you can just highlight this one right click and duplicate action double click inside it the second one and instead of visible change it to hidden and then press ok so now we've got lazy sound Hi uh, show the meme wait 10 seconds and then hide the meme again now if you don't set this up correctly and you don't have a delay and you don't have a hide it's just going to play the meme and it's going to stay on your screen forever if you don't have a delay it can come back off real quick so it's important to have these three steps with whatever it is that you're showing on the screen, on the stream, inside streamer bot. So each one, as you can see, has got a bunch of actions, some more than others. Uh, some have got multiple actions, some haven't. But anyway, we've done the action. We've got the action right here. So now we need to link it up to OBS right here. So for that, we've got to jump into the commands tab, which is right here. Third one across for me it might be different for you. You might have a slightly different layout at the top here. Um, anyway, right click in here, add again, and here's where we had our Twitch and OBS commands. So I like to start all mine with exclamation. You don't have to, and I'm going to call it lazy town. Okay. So that's the command, the chat command that you have to type in to get the meme to play. That's what goes in this box here. Okay. Uh, in the group, we choose memes cause it's a meme. And then the action, we choose the action. So we just look down in here because everything's in folders. So we look down, we find the memes and we find the lazy town one. So there's the lazy town one there. Hit select and that's in there and done. Also quite important, make sure this little box here is ticked for some reason. I don't know if it's a glitch in the system or what, but ignore bot account needs to be ticked. Sometimes it won't recognize the command that you're giving in and it might think you're a bot. So it won't play the meme or whatever it is that you're trying to do. So. From my experience, make sure this box is ticked. Easy peasy done. Press OK. And then there's your lazy town installed. So we can try this out. Just jump over onto this screen over here. Jump into the chat. Exclamation. Lazy town. 
Yeah, and so... Uh... Don't let your kids watch it! Da da No. What do you think about that? That's one meme, but I've got a few of them plumbed in here like I showed you before. I've also got mission passed. It's not just you as the streamer or the creator that can type these into chat. Um, your chat can type these in as well. So whoever's in your chat, moderators or viewers, let them know about the new chat commands and then they can type this sort of stuff into the stream as well. It works brilliant for sponsors and stuff like that as well. If you've got visual pop-ups to support your sponsors. Today's stream is sponsored by Visuals by Impulse. 5% off everything. All you've got to do is hit the link in the description down there. We've also got another little pop-up for them as well on the right side of the screen right here. So go and check them out. Make the right choice. Brilliant graphics. I even use them myself. Right, now we know how to add memes and pop-ups and graphics and things like that. We're going to move on to channel points. So along the top, you'll have channel point rewards. Now this is linked up with your Twitch. I can't stress enough. Make sure your Twitch is connected. So it should say inside your settings and then go to your Twitch account. And it should say disconnect if it's connected, yeah, and your username up here. So if it's not connected, this isn't going to work for you, okay? So make sure your Twitch and your OBS is connected. If you don't know how, once again, there's a video on my page showing you how to get your Twitch and OBS connected to Streamerbot. But for now, we're just going to jump into Channel Point Rewards over here. Now, what you need to understand about Channel Point Rewards is the ones you've got on Twitch now will say no on this right-hand side here. It says owned. Mine will say yes because I created them inside Streamerbot. Now, if you've created your channel points on Twitch, like a lot of people do, if you don't know how to get there, just go to Twitch dashboard, view rewards, channel points, manage, and here's my channel points. So if you created your channel point rewards here inside Twitch, they will say no in here, and then you can't modify them. So all your channel points on Twitch may need deleting and then re-upload them inside Streamerbot. And then you can turn them on and off. You can do cooldowns and all stuff like that inside Streamerbot rather than Twitch. Does that make sense? So all of these ones here, I've created inside here. Right, so in order to get started, you've just got to right-click again inside the square, go to Add, and then this is where you give it a title, and this is where all you get your settings for your chat point, your channel point reward. So this reward, I'm going to call it Lazy Town. I'm going to cost it 100. Uh, there's the color here as well. You can actually choose the color of the reward. So for this one, I'm going to go some kind of pinky purple color. I'm going to press OK. You see that change there for the color as well. So that's how much it costs. That's the color of it. There's cooldowns here as well. So you can have a maximum amount of usage for that thing per stream or per user per stream. So and global cooldown as well. So all them settings are here. And then all you've got to do is come to the bottom, select the group. I mean memes again. And then action, select that action. So I'm going to go for the lazy town action meme press select and then when i press ok on here you should see it pop up over here in my twitch chat okay so we're just gonna hit ok not in my twitch chat sorry and here it is in my twitch channel point rewards my bad so it's up here it's highlighted there's laser town right here 100 points so what we'll do is we'll move this over here so you can see my twitch side by side with obs and we will go into the channel point rewards and here it is new all in pink lazy town mean reward redeem there's a notification here don't let your kids watch it so anybody in your chat can go onto the channel points and then redeem a meme that you've installed inside obs from the chat which I think is pretty good. So there we have it, channel point rewards and chat commands inside Twitch with Streamerbot and OBS. So if you do want to know any more about this and you want to see these things in action actually on a live stream, feel free to come check me out on Twitch. I need the viewers. Links in the description down there. We can get far more in depth and actually see these things working and chat more on a live stream than I can tell you in a 10 minute YouTube video. If you need any more help, leave some comments down in the comments. Leave some comments down in the comments. Yeah, leave a comment in the comments. I don't know how to end videos. So hopefully somebody somewhere found this video useful and I'm not just talking to myself. I only, I only get 20 or 30 views per video anyway. So for the two or three people that are watching, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. If you like the video, let me know by hitting the thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Take signals out.